the Navity of the Christ. The birth of Jesus Christ came about this way. After his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, it was discovered before they came together that she was pregnant from the Holy Spirit. So her husband Joseph, being a righteous man, did not want to disgrace her publicly, decided to divorce her secretly. But after he had considered these things, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife, because what has been convinced in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Now all of this took place to fulfill what has been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. See, the virgin will become pregnant and give birth to a son, and they will name him Manuel, you know, which is translated to God is with us. Wise man visits the king. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judah in the days of King Herod, wise men from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star, its rising, and come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was deeply disturbed, and all of Jerusalem with him. So he assembled all the chief priests and scribes of the people, and asked them where the Christ would be born. In Bethlehem of Judah, they told him, because this is what the prophet written, what, this is what the prophet has written. Okay. After they were gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Get up! Take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. For Herod is about to search for the child to kill him. So he got up, took the child and his mother during the night, and escaped to Egypt. He stayed there until Herod's death, so that what was spoken by the Lord through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt I called my son.